Okay, here we're going to be looking at the three primary nutrients. Now the reason why I have the picture here is typically these three primary nutrients are ones that we're going to be kind of rescuing the plant with. Could be feeding the plant and are ones that if they show a deficiency would be the first we would go through and add or at least rule out if it's not the nutrient deficiency that we notice. First one being nitrogen. So if we're looking at a fertilizer bag, the three numbers that are indicated there are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Nitrogen is a key component of proteins and chlorophyll, both which are involved in the synthesis and transfer of energy. It helps plants with rapid growth of leaves, and it gives that grower kind of that satisfaction of adding fertilizer and seeing the plant grow. Nitrogen often comes from fertilizer applications and can be fixed from the air by legumes and also some soil bacteria. However, while it gives that nice rapid growth of leaves, I caution you, because over-application can cause plants to have long internodes, brittle dark green leaves, and can be difficult to root when cuttings are taken. We see here with the giant pumpkin example, uh, what it looks like a plant that is overfed in nitrogen. You get these kind of bloated dark green leaves, these really long stretch, um, stretch to the stalks here. You can also get some splitting that can occur. All of these are negative effects of adding too much nitrogen. Now, phosphorus is an essential part of the process also for photosynthesis. It's a critical component of DNA, as we see here, in that sugar backbone. It encourages root growth and blooming, and it's typically added, if you see a bloom fertilizer, typically it'll have a lot or elevated levels of phosphorus in it. Also uh, comes in fertilizer, it's the middle number, keep in mind, and it's also present in manures. If you over add manures, while they're a great organic source of nutrients, a lot of times you can over add your phosphorus. I have the match stick, um, here because there's phosphorus in the area where you strike it um, against the box of the match or some sort of rough surface. The last one is potassium as our primary nutrient. It's absorbed by plants in larger amounts than other mineral uh, elements, except nitrogen and in some cases calcium. Uh, you can see here being added in very large bags uh, to be spread on a field. Potassium is supplied by plants, by soil minerals, organic materials, and also fertilizer. It's involved with carbohydrate metabolism, fruit formation, and disease resistance. As you're getting later in the season, typically potassium demands will increase uh, in the plant. And I just remind you that potassium is represented by the letter K, phosphorus by the letter P. Uh, keep those straight and try not to get those confused because a lot of students will mix up uh, potassium and phosphorus.